I'm really. Wow, it's it's my birthday, and then this whole week of uh, just about TV, we always be on um you know, G stand and things about the birthday. We will be having a lot of our uh, videos about my birthday this week. So this week is birthday video. So always come and watch and come and watch and come and watch and come and watch. But what you are going to watch now is my first movie. The first movie I ever produced is what you want to see now. You can see, you're going to compare the way I look now to the way I looked then. That time, suffer day. Yeah. We suffer. For all of you, you know, those international country, in Tokaida, in the coast, suffer. I don't know the kind of language I'm saying, do, But there was, you will see, we face a lot. That film took us about two years before we were able to release it. And after releasing it, who? People were saying, who are you? Who, who, who know you that you are doing film? Who will see? Who will, nobody will check it. Nobody will watch it. But it was our first movie. And people were blessed to eat. I want you to see this movie. So part of the celebration is people should watch my first movie ever produced uh, 13 years ago. And um, see what God really did then uh, compared to what God is doing now. The title is Robbers of Glory. May you be blessed as you watched in Jesus' name. For those that still want to give us a birthday gift, you keep asking, uh, you're going to see the account where you can send your birthday gift after this video. God bless you, a chef giver. Thank you very much. News Baba TV. Oh, you came to this channel. Oh, I've been waiting for you. I mean, You see, that's not important for now. You carry in you the instrument to radiate my glory. To make me exalted all over the heart. And to set the captives free from thy diverse bondages. An instrument to radiate your glory. Always remember this. Now, I understand. Old man! Old man! Old man! Yeah? What's it? What's it there? Which old man? Uh, you must be dreaming. You shouted from your sleep. Yes. A an old man. He said.
Thank you very much. These are the drugs. I hope my husband is okay, doctor. Huh? Why is the room quiet? This atmosphere is too suspicious. Doctor! Doctor! Uh, madam, calm down. Calm down. Read me. We've tried our best. Huh? But. Huh? He's gone. What? Doctor! at the program of the youth convention of the church yesterday. But I was in the church. I know. But after the program, when I asked after you so I could bring you home, I was told you had come. I had to come home. But why? Because I was not given any message to handle. No section of the program either. But why were you left out? I don't know. In fact, most of the participants must have been very disappointed because they prefer my ministrations to any other ministers there. Hmm. Body. I intentionally allowed you to tell me the reason why you left. I was so sure it was going to be for such a dirty reason. Hmm? What dirty reason, Mom? You mean if you are not told to handle any program and you are not going to minister in word? You cannot sit under the ministration of any other ministers and be blessed? <laughs> Not that, Mom. At least, the ministers there are my colleagues. Brother Bulu, one of the ministers there, God used me to witness to him. Why then must I be left behind Why he goes on to lead and teach the people? You're beginning to exhibit pride in your actions, buddy. So you are saying God cannot use your colleagues to minister to you in a program? Eh? I'm sure you know that God can decide to use anybody at any time. That you know. No, not that. Remember I've always told you. And I'm still repeating myself. Such as I will continue to. That you are an instrument to radiate God's glory. You're already sharing that glory with him, you know. No, ma. No, ma. But eh, be careful. Be careful. Pride goes before destruction. Hmm? All right, ma. Hey, mom, what you see? School is on next week. Uh, school fees, hmm? Yes, oh. exactly. I know. Exactly. Well, the Lord will, the Lord will provide. Amen. But one thing, remember to ask God for forgiveness. And do remember to ask Him to give you the spirit to be humble. Hey, I'm going to miss you while you're at the school. I will talk from time to time. Please take care of yourself. Right, Buddy, you are created to bring glory to God, to set the captives free, and to exalt the name of the Lord. Hmm? You know, I've always said this to you, even before your father passed on, I was so sure of this very fact. Hmm? You see, I'm almost late. We could discuss the name of the Lord. It's okay. But what else? Hello? Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. I'll soon be there now. Yeah. 
you see? So it's okay. It's just that what I'm telling you, huh? Yeah. It's much more important, even than the ministration you are rushing off to do. And my son, remember to be humble. And the Lord will lift you up. Hmm? It was a nice time yesterday. The Lord is you. Yeah. That was as a result of the three days fasting and prayer that I observed three days ago. Those things you saw yesterday, I mean the, the miracles, was not ordinary, but due to my waiting upon the Lord. Well, uh, we thank God. The Lord really did wonders amidst the students. Hmm. You see, Brother Bernard, when I'm in a program, Wonders, testimonies, and signs are bound to take place in the lives of the people. Because I've got the secret. I was surprised with the population that filled the hall to the peak. It was the lost dream. You see, Bro Bernard, when people see my name and picture on posters and flyers, they come out a mass for those programs. Bro Bernard, what is it? Pastor Bode, you seem not to acknowledge God in all this at all. You are taking the whole glory to yourself. How do you mean? I have tested you these three times and you have failed. Pastor Bode, don't forget the fact that God uses any of his instruments in us to radiate his glory. Yes. And not to our own glory. Yes, I know. One dash shall never end. Peace. Peace. Yes, Can you friend. imagine a Christian brother talking this way? Hey, now wow. Hey, now what you say? He is playing a dirty game. Yes. Has he forgotten that God said he would never share his glory with any man? Yes. And as for me, I will never in my life attend any program involving that brother again. Me too. Because I don't want to involve myself into the sin of a careless brother. Yes. And what do you say to him? It is nonsense. People don't understand. People don't understand. Buddy. What is the thing here? We need to finish it. We need to check your wristwatch. I didn't really do it. When pride comments, then shame comments. God give it grace to the humble. Pride brings it shame. Never be proud. Just with us. I didn't really do it. When pride comments, then shame comments. Yes, I'm sorry for this get call. No problem, sir. The Holy Spirit laid it in my heart to invite you into the three days vigil program that will be having in our church. Naturally, we want you to come up on the first day of the program. When is the program coming up? Mm. The program will be coming up on the 11, 12, and 13 of October. 11, 12, and 13. Let me check my dinner. I see. Eleven, twelve. Wow. Fortunately, I'll be free for that day. Oh, we bless God. We bless God. We actually believe that God is going to use you to do the mighty things in the future. Amen. You see, sir, I've been to many places. <laughs> I now know how to move the hands of God, you see, to do mighty exploits in the life of people. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Actually, uh, we call you back. To into on the details of the Fiji. Thank you very much. No problem, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Let, let's be, sir. Okay. No. We thank you for this opportunity that you gave Pastor Kola to invite me 
evangelist body to his church vision. Lord, I pray that when I come, I will shower blessings upon their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything will be perfected by the time I come. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Alright, I have to leave now. Okay, thank you. I hope I have no mistake in inviting this man, Evangelist Body, into our three days speech. My God. I understand, sir. I understand, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Why is it that people mistake me to be proud? Each time I tell them what God uses me to do in people's life. Has it become a sin to share with a fellow minister what God is using me for? in the life of people oh my god <sighs> property pastor how far now bad news good afternoon what's the problem you seem to be in a very bad mood today you are right bro bad news what's it people what about them people mistake me to be proud each time i share with them what God used me to do in people's life. Is that what you are thinking? But I think you know the reason. I think you should know why. Why? Uh. They are jealous of you and your grace. Simple. So the attitude should not surprise you. Hmm. You see, I'm not a very good Bible scholar. But I can never forget the story of Joseph. Hmm. Joseph had a great dream. He dreamt about how great and bright his future was. Hmm. His brothers and even his parents thought he was proud and became envious of him. That is the situation you find yourself now. That is the type of condition that you find yourself now. So instead of thinking, I think you should go on with the good work. Hmm. After all, your judgment is not in anybody's hand. Mm -hmm. Or oh, has God revealed to you anything about this before? No. On the contrary. <laughs> if you know the dream I had yesterday's night. Yesterday night? Yes. Tell me something. <laughs> it is God preparing me for a great miracle crusade. Great! And it will come to pass. Amen. So my brother. Move on. Go on with your God is behind you. Be no good, my brother, he no good. Be no good, my sister, he no good. What do you do, oh, red, red, he no good. You take in glory, you sweep in naked, oh. What do you do, oh, red, red, he no good. We went to you still get down, so remember in glory, no go share with any man. Never play a dirty game with your creator. Repent now, in the merciful. Yeah, you saw it, you saw it. Mm. Mm.
always drunk and also a womanizer. <laughs> what a wasted life. It's only God that can save him. And I know God will save him one day. Amen. But you see, Brobena, if I undo him, believe me, you, by fire, by force, only a touch will settle that. I'm telling you, let his pig control in his mud, not until I'm ready. You? I'm telling you. I know that. You see? <laughs> The shame is glory. The strip him naked. They are robbers of glory. What can I do for you, sir? You think you can take all my glory and go scot free? I ordained you right from the womb of your mother. To radiate my glory. To make me exalted all over the heart. And to set the captives free from their diverse bondages. But instead, you took all my glory and you exalted yourself. Uh, remember. It is a terrible thing to fall into the hands of God. For he is a consuming fire. They want to be glorified, they are robbers of glory. That was what I saw. And I think the message is for you. You need to be very, very careful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'll pray about it. They are robbers of glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, I pray that you save this drunkard in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray you give me the wisdom to work for you here in the name of Jesus. I renounce what Brother said concerning him in the name of Jesus. I say, O oh Lord, that you glorify yourself in the name of Jesus. Brother Good afternoon, Brother Nand. What are you doing? Yes, I was praying. Praying. Bernard, I actually came to report Kingsley to you. Do you know him? Yes, of course I do. Then warn him. Because in all levels, spiritually, academically, and ministerially, I am above him. You need to hear what he said this afternoon. What did he say? You need to see the way he was molesting me. Oh. If God will pass a message across to me, it can never be through that broccoli. Never. What an embarrassment.
the big boys in town. Ah, man, we are the ones. Feel what I'm saying. Are you crazy? Never in your life should you give me this stupid leaflet again. Or else, I will make sure I tear you into pieces. Idiots. Get leave it for me, my friend. Sister. It's one of those things. I love where I'm calling you. Thank you. From the president. Okay. Uh, our invitation came from the artist uh, unit. There's a summit coming up in uh, the Togo. Well, the president won't be charged to attend. They now selected two of us to represent the fellowship. Hmm. So, who and who was selected? Uh, actually, I was selected. Praise God. Well, that will help you. That will help you. That will see you through. I need to leave now. Uh, Pastor Body, I just said two of us were selected. So who was the second person? What to calm down, relax. I have an appointment to meet. <sighs> Pastor Body, you were the second person that was selected. Eh? Hey, so I was the second person selected. Ah, uh, I don't know that. Why do you keep me in such a long suspense? So how are we making moves? Pastor Body, why why the the Sudden change in mood when you thought you were selected. Sudden change? No, I was just going to pray for both of you. That's all. Anyway, um, let me advise you. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God so that in due season you will lift your eyes. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, not again. Don't go to that direction again. Okay? Please. How are we making moves? How? Well, uh, anyway. Take out. Huh? Take out. Who are you? You've been with me since morning. Even when there was no help at all. Well, I'm a friend. Just a friend for now. Bernard by name. I'm a child of God. So, you mean you're a child of God, but you don't look like one. Well, I intentionally put on this to catch your attention. I actually went to the market to buy them just to win you for Christ. What? So, you mean you cannot approach me normally? <laughs> Actually, I have been following you for the past few weeks. But let's leave that aside for now. The most important thing 
now is for you to give your life to Jesus. Because a life without Christ is a life in crisis here on earth. And such a life, when he dies, you go to hell. Wait, you mean my friend has gone to hell? What are you trying to say? Well, the most important thing is for you to give your life to Jesus. Huh? Give your life to Jesus. Jesus again. <laughs> you see, <laughs> I don't think this so called Jesus can accept me again. <laughs> so I have committed so many atrocities. The Bible says in John chapter 6, verse 37. That whosoever that comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. It was Jesus that was speaking there. So no matter how much the atrocities you have committed, Jesus is ready to accept you. And that is why you must give your life to him now. Accept Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
You must get get the fact. Let him go back to his family. Destroy his Christian testimony. Let him break the edge so the serpent can bite. Queen. Kisley is proving difficult. Difficult? Yes. You have a new coach. Four, one, one, nine. Apply it on him, and he will fall into your trap eventually. Thank you, my queen. Your ministry is losing out of the mighty grace of God it has. Is that the interpretation to the dream? Eh? Yes. Seems God is backing out of your calling. Eh? So there is no other interpretation to that dream? Do you have any other interpretation? I'm trying to get us some things here. I'm tired. I mean, I'm exhausted. Oh, excuse me. I'll see you on that side. All right. City. Hello, sister. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Your face looks so familiar. I've never seen you before. You look totally different from what I saw last semester. Your dressing, your comportment, and everything. Then you've actually met me before. Um, this is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in my sight. I got born again over the break. Wow! What a news! Oh, I thank God for your life. Uh, I was opportune to attend the crusade. And the Lord really touched me that I never knew when I went out for the altar call. Oh, that's brilliant. What a testimony. You see, sister, you really need to grow more in faith. Hmm? Which fellowship do you attend? Um, I attend God's Revival and Prosperity Fellowship. Oh, no. You see, sister, you really need to attend the fellowship whenever your faith can grow. You understand? You can grow more spiritually. Hmm? Which fellowship do you attend? I attend the Christ River Ministry. Well, I'd like to join you so as to move close to people that will help my growth. Good, that's brilliant. You're welcome. I tell you something, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank welcome. you. My boy, I would like you to pray about it. Hmm? No problem. Nah. Oh, I'm happy for you. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you. It's nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Uh, I'm Kisley. I'm Shadi. I see so much. This world of sin, if you think you can stand, my brother, you will fall. Only God in heaven will keep you standing. Let us ask for grace. In this world of sin, if you think you can stand, my brother. Let 
us ask for grace in this world of sin if you think you can stand my brother you will fall only god in heaven will keep you standing let us ask for grace in this world of sin if you think you can stand my brother Jesus, how I wish it is well. As we can see, Bro Kingsley is not around. Well, let us begin to pray. Why did it say? The wind for my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Convince her, my father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Make her the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh. Jesus. We've been waiting for Brooklyn say, but he's not here, he's not here around. And now I think we could share the grace and you all could go. The grace, grace of the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the Lord Lord of God, and the sweet fellowship of God be with us forever. Amen. So God bless you. There is no problem. Uh, not at all. Uh, I just want to let you know that the Lord revealed to me that you're going to be my wife. I got the confirmation after I finished praying the day before yesterday. Ah, uh, uh, bro, Kingsley. Uh, I, I don't think so. I'm sorry, but me, I don't think so. <laughs> because. Because what, Sister Shadi? I thought you just say you're going to pray about it for confirmation too. That's all. Well, uh, um, I'm sorry. I'm going to pray about it okay. and give you the feedback when I'm through. All right. I pray great delight. I like that. And I hope you give me a positive report. Mm? Well. All right. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah, thank you. I saw a big wolf in the fold and I saw it targeting at one of the biggest sheep in the fold and even scattering all of the sheep in the fold. And what meaning do you have to that, uh, bro, Daniel? Um, yes, sir. Actually, with what God made me to understand about this vision is that there is a demonic sister trying to track down one of the most devoted members in the fellowship. <laughs> ah, Ooh, Brother Daniel. Uh, yes, sir. Ah, how old are you in the faith to be making such interpretations? Apart from that, if God wants to send such revelation, I think you have sent it through somebody like Pastor Bode, not. Oh, even now that I just concluded my seven days marathon fasting and prayer. I mean, I mean. <laughs> Brother Daniel. Sir? I think we should be careful what we see with our mouth. Yes, and apart from that, if those sisters in the fellowship should hear this, what do you think we feel? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Ah! Sorry. Brother Daniel. Sir? 
Let's be careful about the wolves that we see. Oh, okay, sir. Sorry, sir. Hey, perhaps you are feverish. I see when some people behave sick, <laughs> yeah, sickly, you see them having some kind of alterations that are insensible. So I think you need to take a nap. <laughs> uh, sorry, 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 sir. God <laughs> uh, bless you. Thank, 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 thank you, sir. It's all right. It's all right. It, it, it's okay, brother. Are you sister? Yes, sir. Are you standing you on God? Are you doing? Me. Are you searching your life? Are you standing? Are you standing on God? Are you doing this way? Are you searching your life? You're welcome. Thank you. Ah, uh, where are you coming from? Ah, uh, from Sister Shia's house. And how is she? She's fine. Are you going out? No, I'm just preparing for tomorrow's service. Alright. How is everything? Fine. Thank you. And how is she? She's fine. She's fine. Ah. Ah. What is it? Food, of course. I brought it for you. Oh. Thank you very much. This thing is timely. <laughs> well, this <evening. laughs> it is, it's timely. I'm really, really hungry. Ah. Fellowship and announce to everyone. <laughs> Will you tell them what has happened? Oh my god. 
<laughs> Jade, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> now, let's pretend it never happened. Oh, no, no. Oh, this is too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sister Shadi, I, I can't think we should pray and ask God for forgiveness. Pray about what? Where, where, where are you going now? <coughs> are you going to announce to everybody? In this world of sin, if you think you can stand, my brother, you will fall. Only God in heaven will keep you standing. Let us ask for grace In this world of sin If you think you can stand My brother, you will fall Only God in heaven Will keep you standing Let us ask for grace In this world of sin If you think you can stand My brother world of sin if you think you can stand my brother you will fall only God in heaven will keep you standing let us ask for grace are you standing are you standing on God are you doing his will are you searching your life are you still standing are you standing on God? I'm Are you doing His will? Are you searching your life? Are you still standing? Are you standing on God? Are you doing His will? Are you searching your life? Are you still standing? Are you standing on God? Are you doing His will? Are you searching your life? Are you still standing? Are you standing on God? Are you doing His will? Are you searching your life? Are you still standing? Are you standing on God? Are you doing His will? Are you searching your life? asked of you from the nurses and I was told that you are busy. Oh yes, madam. I was really busy at the theater this afternoon. Doctor. Yes, madam. How is my boy doing? Well, madam, as you can see, your boy has gone through a lot of stress and right now he's in coma. <sighs> but doctor, is he going to be all right? Madam, your son will be okay. We believe he's going to be okay. <sighs> Amen. Ah, body. Bro, Kingsley, what is happening? Bobinan. I am finished. Finished? What do you mean? I must not say it. If I say it, I will run mad. I will run mad. I mean it. Ah! Uh, <sighs> you see, don't worry. Say it. You will not run mad. The law will take control. God, after this confession, anything that happened to me, just have mercy. Mercy, Lord. It was Sister Shade. She came to my house this afternoon. She slept with me. Eh? What did you say? Mm. 
Suffer the consequences. <laughs> Baba, what sort of consequences? <laughs> ah, after experiencing an automobile accident that landed me in this state, ah, what a bad image. Baba, what are the consequences? <laughs> Baba, I'm pleading, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. <laughs> you have not seen anything yet. I will humiliate you since you have refused to humble yourself. Ah, I will demote you and make you to serve under your juniors in faith. <laughs> no, <laughs> Baba, I'm sorry. <laughs> Have mercy. Ah. <laughs> Forgive, have mercy, I'm sorry. Have oh, mercy, Baba, have mercy on me. Your ministry has been taken from you and given to a more worthy son. Oh. The only mercy I will extend to you is to allow you to scrape through death to life, to face the consequences of your actions, oh. so that you can learn from them. I'm sorry. Sorry, for me. I'm missing you. I'm missing you. I'm I'm missing you. The old man just came in here. The old man? He said I have never fulfilled any of his purposes. Oh. He, he, said, he, he said a lot of things I could not remember. Then finally... Finally... He said the only mercy he could have for me is to make me script from death to life. So, what happened to your ministry? What happens to his call upon your life? I said, a 
ministry is taking from you and giving to someone else to take over. Oh my god! But they... You were warned! Oh. What happened to all of those promises? Hmm. He who hath an ear, he who hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. You are warned. There is punishment, there is another punishment for those who share in the glory of God. There is punishment, there is another punishment for those who share in the glory of God. You're a pastor in your church. You preach the real gospel, choir in your church. You minister in songs. After your ministrations, you took all the glory. You will not go scot free. You are playing a dirty game. There is punishment. There is another punishment for those who share in the glory of God. There is punishment. There is another punishment. Those who share in the glory of God In this world of sin If you think you can stand My brother, you will fall Only God in heaven will keep you standing Let us ask for grace In this world of sin If you think you can stand my brother, you will fall Only God in heaven will keep you standing Let us ask for grace In this world of sin